Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Check it out real quick, man. Breaking news out of Philadelphia Eagles minicamp. Andre Dillard is, in fact, having season-ending surgery on a torn bicep. I don't know if it's a torn bicep. That's not the word that I got, um, or that's not the stuff that I've been seeing. I've been seeing it's a bicep injury that is going to require season-ending surgery. So... That means Jason Peters is moving back. Somebody's taking his uh, position at right guard. And in a weird twist of events, somehow, someway, it seems like that the offensive line is now starting to come back to a normal form. Um, this is what I do know. I do know that Jason Peters, um, he, he, he may be older, but he's not going to be bullied or manhandled. He can defend himself against a bull rush. Um, did, did Andre Dillard try to go too hard? Did he sense did he sense the frustration from the fan base and push a little too hard in today's practice and cause injury to himself? Now we all could we all know this. We couldn't use him. He's a valuable piece. He just wasn't ready, in my opinion, to take over as the starting left tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles and be responsible for the blind side of Carson Wentz. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles have have a problem now. Now you have a real problem on your hands. This is the problem. You don't have anybody to back up your left tackle position if Jason Peters goes down. Jason Peters is 38 years old. We need a veteran tackle, a veteran offensive tackle who, who, who can play the left side. Who you, you, you know, it's time to throw some big money out there. It's time to go out there and spend some of this money and get somebody who we need to get. At the end of the day, this is a critical position for the Philadelphia Eagles. It needs to be filled immediately. Immediately, you need offensive line depth. I think we're 17 days to kick off. You need somebody behind Jason Peters. Period. Period. In my opinion, I think the Philadelphia Eagles need two offensive linemen, um, a guard and a tackle, preferably a left tackle, preferably a right guard, just to solidify something that's going on back there. Because if Peters goes down, you have Jordan Mailata. You know what I mean? Who's had a frustrating camp, along with um, Andre Dillard. First round pick. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles need to solidify the offensive line. We've talked about this multiple times this week, and it just simply is what it is. We can't go on thinking that they're not going to make a move. And listen, listen, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. Bosa, you know what I'm saying? Bosa, the rookie from Washington. You know what I'm saying? Everson Griffin. Bosa, Chase Young, Everson Griffin. That's five games right there. That's just five games to where I think the left tackle position is going to have to be at an optimum peak. You know what I mean? Just to help us, you know, achieve some stability so Carson Wentz can hit some of these targets that we all grown to love. You know what I mean? And that's my piece on the football aspect of what's going on. Now, um, I want to say this about, you know, the NFL postponing um, some of the games. I think the season will continue on Friday, but it was a powerful statement. A powerful statement made by the NFL players, made by the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, made by the Orlando Magic, and everybody else seemed to follow suit. A lot of people have been hitting me up during this offseason. Listen, LB, do you think it's going to be a season? I keep saying yes. Um, when I kept saying yes, it wasn't because I felt like that the season was in jeopardy because of COVID. I felt like the season was in jeopardy simply because anything could possibly happen that can, you know, derail these players from wanting to play. Social injustice is a big one, man. You know what I'm saying? And it got to be taken very, very seriously. Can I, can I get a minute, please, to finish this? Please. So, yeah, man, as I was saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of the stance that the NBA made. Um... You know, the the, th the things that's happening, you know, in our society and in our culture, they just got to stop. They got to stop. And, you know, people really showing their real colors right now about how they feel. There's a lot of people out here who really feel like this man deserved to be shot in the back seven times. Um, where's it? Where, where, where's it? Where's the humanity? Where's the where's the humility? You know what I'm saying? Where's the where's the where's the care for another life? You don't see it no more. You don't see it no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to say nobody's right. I'm not here to say nobody's wrong. But this is what I know, and this is the facts. 
everybody don't get treated with that same that same style of justice. Now, if everybody was getting treated like this by the cops, then that would be one thing. But it's a specific group of people, a specific group of people who are targeted like this, man, who are targeted like this. And like I was saying, man, I wasn't worried about COVID stopping sports because I didn't think that COVID would stop sports. But I'm telling you, football and basketball and everything else is in danger because these athletes are not going to keep playing when they know they could leave the stadium and be a victim just like anybody else. They're not. They're not. It's getting to the point now to where you know, listen, man, I know a couple of people that play in the NFL. I know a couple of people that play in the NBA. I've had conversations with them about this, man. They starting to feel like that they're nothing but entertainment. And that and, and, and that when they're not entertaining, you know, they're susceptible to the stuff that's going on. And listen, man, listen, listen. I'm telling you, man, it's not, listen, man, something gotta change. You know, leaders of the nation, they should be, they, 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 they should be speaking about how bad this is. You know what I'm saying? But the more and more this happens, the more and more we will see the negative effects and the negative just the looting and all this other stuff that, that follows these events because now it's the new norm. I hope everybody is safe and I hope sports continues to bring us all together. But at the end of the day, man, sports is not more important than equality. It's not more important than equality. It's just not. The fact of the matter is this. That sports may be one of the only things that's equal. It may be one of the only safe places for a lot of us to go. So I hope that things turn around and all we could do is pray and stay blessed, man. I want all y'all to stay safe, man, and know that you got a friend at LB, man. Woo!